Do you want to talk to Koreans who are willing to learn and exchange languages? Tired of trying to find someone genuine on dating apps? Then Moji is the app for you. Simply swipe through Moji, open a chat room, and talk about anything from Korean culture to K-pop. Become friends from all around the world and even help each other out with languages. And by the way, Moji does not tolerate inappropriate behavior, so rest assured. Download Moji on Google Play or App Store right now. Link is in the description below. There's so much stigma, I think, from dating apps. Uh -huh. And then I think that's where Imanchu came from. I started using it. And then my Korean friends were like, oh, you're willing to meet a guy from an app? You're so Imanchu. And so yeah. what you're saying is like some people would like to label themselves as Chamanchu to distinguish themselves, say like they're on a moral high horse. Yes, yeah, yes, absolutely. I think there is a judgment there. Yeah. Yeah. I feel really bad because whenever a foreigner says that complaint and asks for advice, my only advice is go the Chamanchu route, but that's hard for a foreigner here with no base, like language barriers and stuff. Yeah. So I feel really bad. Like there's no better advice I can give you. But Subin mentioned nowadays that the meaning of Chamanchu is changing into a sleep first and date. Yeah. Bringing Korea one slice closer to the world with extraordinary and fun toppings. This is the Korean Pizza Club, KPC. I'm your host, David Kim, and we have our regulars again here in the studio. Hi. Hi. Hey. Hi, Anna. I'm Subini, Kelsey, the Korean. Wow. Okay. <laughs> you know us by now. Fast intro. Yes. <laughs> Get over it. I like it. it. I like it. Okay. So let's get right into the topic today. So uh, this is EP 13 and today's topic is different ways to meet a lover in Korea. Ooh. And we're not talking about like, oh, the, there are actually different methods or like this way and that way. We'll teach you how to meet a lover in Korea. We're actually categorizing Damn. the ways of meeting people yes. in Korea. Okay. So uh, basically, you know, dating culture is pretty intense and huge in Korea it and is. everyone around you is dating. You get shamed if you're not dating. Mm. Single and shaming is a thing in Korea. Yeah, yes, yeah. <laughs> yes. Uh, and before we even meet people, um, people seem to be categorizing the way of meeting a new person. Right, your preferred way. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And they have terminology for that. We're going to dive into that today. And it's a very well-known um, terminology in Korea. And you guys all heard of it. Chamanchu, Immanchu, right? Mm -hmm. It's very it's used been to... It's been there for decades, that right, word. Right, So, like, who will do the honor of explaining Chamanchu? So, Chamanchu... Can I do it? Because yeah, I'm Gen yeah, Z. Yeah, do it, do okay, it. so there's Chamanchu and Imanchu. Chamanchu is an abbreviation for Chayuro Mannam Chugo, which means you prefer meeting someone organically. Oh, wait, then, wait, wait, wait. Chayonzro. What did I say? You said Chayuro. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> Too liberal. Chayonzro yeah. Mannam Chugo, which means you prefer to meet someone organically instead of like using a service or some like forced method. Like so get And yeah, yeah, and then Imanchu would be like Inijog in Mannam Chugo, which is you prefer mm -hmm. meeting someone by using like a third person like not a mutual friend or a service or an app mm -hmm. or it, some some kind of um forced way so that you can ch sort of like check off the list right. before mm -hmm. meeting that person mm -hmm. right she I've, nailed it mm -hmm. i've never heard in manchu yeah. it's basically the opposite of cha yeah, chamanchu yeah, 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 yeah. so uh for the korean learners out there uh who want to learn some korean so chamanchu to break it up into korean words are chayonsroon that means natural Mannam is relationship and chugu is pursue. Mm. So you pursue a natural relationship or meeting mm -mm. a person in that style. It's so weird. Like who wouldn't? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. You meet someone at university right. or like at a party mm -hmm. or yeah. something. Yeah. Like school, yeah. class, mm -hmm. workplace, coworker, mm -hmm. um, and circles. And you get to know each other by yeah. talking. Yeah. yeah, or yeah like it, some of my friends have a, like this fantasy of like, oh, maybe I'll meet my dream guy at like a bus stop or a train station. Yeah. Yeah. That's, like, that's never going to happen. That's, right? that's, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they might if they have the personality that's like go. They can actually go and ch chat. To yeah, them. Or but in that, America, maybe like in yeah. Korea, pe if, so if somebody random comes up to you, it's not like, well, it's like what? Yeah, yeah. everybody has those K drama fantasies. Yeah, it's yeah. 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 K drama fantasy. Yeah, and uh, Immanchu to get into the vocab again is inuijok. It means artificial. Mannam <laughs> relationship chugu pursue. So a style or a person who pursues the start of a relationship in an artificial way. That sounds very weird if you say artificial. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. If you go into like the examples of meeting artificially, it's like blind dates, mm -hmm. uh, group blind dates, meeting, mm -mm. and traditional, yeah, traditional or paid services for arranged meetings. We have a lot of yeah. that matchmaking here. services. Matchmaking services. So they're very artificial. They're set up, right? Yeah. So um, actually, there's a third term. Okay. Other than yeah, this, yeah, do, you, yeah. do you guys know about it? No. Yeah. Chamanchu, Immanchu. 
No. You don't know? No. What's the fact? It's called amanchu. Try to guess what that is. <laughs> Wait, amuna? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyone yeah. is okay? Uh, yeah. You're that. You're down that low. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it means you're down to meet anyone. Oh, I know as friends as a human being. at that level. <laughs> yeah. Right, right. So I didn't know this either. I was researching yesterday, <laughs> and it's mostly preferred by the younger generation. Uh, Duh. Uh, yeah. And it's amuna. They just want any experience. Yeah. Anyone's okay. <laughs> And for example, those are that that would be like one nights at clubs, dating apps, oh, okay. very convenient, quick, casual, mm. easy meetings. Oh wow! Okay. Yeah. So in the old days, like dating apps would be categorized as inmanchu, artificial. Yeah. But yeah. nowadays, it's more like amanchu mm. because of the stereotype in Korea, like mm. dating apps, like you're. Are you meeting anybody? Yeah, yeah, yeah stuff yeah. like that. So th those are three types of the uh, how to meet a guy, mm -hmm. how to meet a person in mm -hmm. Korea, and. Uh, Subini, you mentioned that the yeah. term chamanchu has changed nowadays. Yeah, so Do you guys know about this? Yes, no? I know. <laughs> okay. Recently, um, I was talking with somebody. And I was like, "Oh, the chamanchu study is like, oh, like yojum, yojume." And then they, I was like, "What do you mean yojume? Like, are you talking recently. about like how I am right now?" And they're like, "No, it's basically like you sleep with them before." Before, like, okay. man nam chugo. Man nam chugo. Oh, like, you sleep I've always been you that way. <laughs> I need to. In the West are going to be that way. Yeah, 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 I can't imagine like stamping on girlfriend and boyfriend before we've had sex. Really, I can't uh, imagine. Yeah. I can't uh, having yeah. sex before being, being girlfriend. girlfriend really, yeah, I, can't I think it depends imagine. on what? the situation, but I prefer to do it <laughs> after I get into a relationship. What if he has a micro penis <laughs> afterwards? <laughs> okay. Because well, okay, because transcends. okay, because when I was in this relationship for three months, I didn't have sex with him because I was like really like, oh, I really like you, blah blah blah. And then after like three months, we had sex for the first time, and then it was like, well, not well. it. And then what do I do? <laughs> <laughs> it's a real you problem. Have to work, work, work at it. Talk and How communicate. Do, so yeah, yeah, but then he was oh, also he like, I don't like you using a vibrator. And then so I'm like, okay, well, then there's no solution. Well, I'm glad and that's in the past for okay, you. Okay. Oh, yeah. 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 And I'm not gonna repeat that mistake. Yeah. So yeah. I'm chamanchu that these. Okay. These version. Nowadays version <laughs> of Chamanchu. Chamanchu both ways. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Sleep first and make a relationship. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anna was saying about what? Your boyfriend what? Yeah, but I don't know if he wants me to say. Oh, you shouldn't uh, say yeah. it. Then. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but like, let's be clear here. If you're in Korea... Okay, but listen, more people than Korea, like more than they would admit they are they sleep before getting yeah, into yeah. it yeah even That's my relationship it's, changing, it's changing now even my boyfriend says most of his friends that he knows are have met like got into relationship through this way mm -hmm. these days mm -hmm. yeah, he's yeah. Like, it's, it's really not it's mind. very hard to keep the tension when the sexual compatibility is not there it's just facts yeah. yeah but just to set the record straight if you are in korea and happen to use these terminologies or hear someone using it mm. like if someone says like oh i'm chamanchu it's not normally the meaning we're talking about right Right now, like yeah, it's more, first. Yeah, it's more than time. natural organic. Yeah, it's the former I, original I, meaning. Yeah, 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 original meaning yeah, of yeah, naturally yeah. meeting someone. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. like, yeah, okay, just get that in. Just get that out of the way. <laughs> yeah, right, right. So, um, let's say like, there. How do you apply this in terms of dialogue? Like, chamanchu mm manchu. -hmm. Give me an example sentence. Uh, when I was young, I used to be Tamanchu, and now that I'm old and looking for a potential marriage partner, I've become more Imanchu. I've, oh. I've heard people say that. Perfect. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, I think like it happens for me usually in uh, when I'm with my friends and hanging out, and of course they're peer pressuring me into like mm -hmm. uh, not dating and stuff. So they will ask you like, "Why are you not dating?" Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I have to give them an answer, like yeah. you know, a valid answer, or else they'll yeah, start yeah. investigating. So they ask me, "Do you want to do a sogeting?" Sogeting? Yeah. yeah, yeah. They'll the offer you a blind date, date. Yeah. and then if you want to evade the question, all you have to say is like, "No, it's okay. I'm, I'm chamanchu." Yeah, yeah. I always say that. I always say that. It's the most convenient way yeah. to evade all the stress because, like, if you exactly. answer otherwise, like you say, like, "Oh, I don't have time. I don't have money." They'll They're gonna always... force it down your throat. Yeah, yeah, they'll nag like, "Oh, during the Korean War, people <laughs> used to date. Like, what are you talking about?" And then, like, "I'm single by choice." They'll say, "Oh, what do you mean single by choice? You're wasting your time. Your yeah, yeah. clock is ticking." And, all that kind of stuff. So chamanchu, like just say you're chamanchu and they'll get it. Oh. Yeah. And yeah. You'll yeah. save that, you know. They respect yeah. that. Yeah. yeah. So <laughs> yeah, I think that's I think it's a very handy term to avoid those kind of situations. Yeah. Have you uh encountered these kind of situations with these words? Yeah, the after yeah. I became single, a lot of people are like, Oh, why don't you go on dating apps? And I was like, Oh no, I'm chamanchu. <laughs> I was like, I'm Simple as that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's how I would say it uh -huh, as well. Uh -huh. or yeah. Use that type of you know term. Mm. Uh -huh. Most of my friends that are Korean in my age, like mid twenties, they're chamanchu. Mm. 
You yeah. want to meet someone organically. Yeah. Yeah. Right. I mean, everyone in their early 20s, they yeah. have these dreams and fantasies yeah. Or, yeah. of like meeting someone in the library. I think some easy. of my friends would consider me setting up a blind date for them as Chamanchu because it's like through a mutual friend. Oh, okay. So like it's sort of natural. natural. Enough, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah. I think when you're early 20s as well, it's easy for Chamanchu to happen compared to when maybe you was, yeah. like, was up in society Absolutely. when you're working. You, it's, it gets harder to meet new people. Yeah. Right, yeah. right, right, right. So I want to do a poll here. So okay. which one? One of you are Chamanchu. Say it in the bike. Like preference wise. Yeah, well, just say which one you are. Chamanchu, Imanchu, or Amanchu. <laughs> Chamanchu. I think everyone prefers Chamanchu. Okay, you're. But I'm not opposed to Imanchu either because it has happened for me. Okay. Yeah. What about you, Sabini? Nanen mujokon Chamanchu. Like for sure, Chamanchu. Okay, 100% Chamanchu. Yeah. yeah. So you uh, wouldn't accept blind dates or anything? No. Oh, really? Why not? No, not anymore. I used to, but I just realize that when I'm at like you know a setup type of meeting I have to find out I have to like mm, like I, I like try to find stuff that I'm like liking about them more than like getting to know this person I feel like I have to like them as a person oh, so because you're, you're going on like, this yeah, date I feel like, yeah, with the pressure kind of like the pressure yeah. that I have to like this person mm. like since my friend set him up thinking saying that oh yeah you two guys will like match very well so I'm like okay you know mm-hmm. I'll try to meet them and then I try to like find things that were matching well mm-hmm. instead of like other things that you know we could talk about so oh, I get I just it don't like and that. also chemistry wise if it's in much artificial like yeah. you don't have the chemistry beforehand yeah like you try to make it from yeah. There. yeah 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 while yeah. as uh, whereas tamanchu is like you find the chemistry first yeah and then you kind of vibe and then you mm. build it up from that so I get that point yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Kelsey uh, I prefer chamanchu but I'm not like against in manchu yeah, either yeah. okay yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Because it's always nice to meet someone that's like similar to your experiences. Mm-hmm. And then it's just, yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Anybody, uh, Amanchu? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. 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 Well, well, we have our I've Amanchu phases. I've used apps. Don't we? Aren't you, aren't you, nah. you need to, aren't well, you more like I'm Chamanchu? Amanchu? Uh, no, no, like, no, 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 no. Like, you're um, Chamanchu, but you, you're also not opposed to Imanchu either, right? Uh, yeah, I would prefer Chamanchu because that's romantic and that's natural. Yeah. Uh, but nowadays after turning 30 and my environment and all, like I'm a freelancer, I don't, I'm yeah, not. Yeah, you work most, you work mostly by yourself. Yeah. Oh yeah, I so work by you, myself. How I, are you going to meet people? Yeah, he I'm doesn't not, go I'm out. introvert. I'm, yeah. I'm not a party person. Yeah. Yeah. And mm-hmm. so I'm like in this island. And so like friends introducing you to other friends, does that count as Chamanchu? I would say so. No, I would so, say so. Technically that is in Manchu. Yeah. Because that is in Manchu. <laughs> because <laughs> you didn't bump in at a bus stop so yeah, it's like artificial yeah. no but that that too but also the characteristic the innate uh, characteristic right, right. of Inmanchu is you you have this certain judgment of the person before you meet because yeah. you first look at the picture mm-hmm. you right. hear the person's height and you expect at least they're also looking for a relationship yeah. or a date yeah and you know where the person's graduated you know their job how mm. they look like how, yeah all that kind of stuff so you know their specs mm. right. already mm. so you have some kind of expectation and that's not very natural you know mm. you know like yeah. you're looking for a con- certain condition and mm. stuff like that mm. so i think that's like the barrier or dis- distinguish point mm. uh, between Chamanchu and Manchu. Mm. But also, I do agree that it has its pros too because it's convenient. Yeah. yeah. Like, y- yeah. Y- you know, you both are on the same. There's level. A, like a sort of certain background check that has been done already. Kind yeah. Of. If your and, friend's introducing you to them. Yeah. Somewhere. And also, the fact that you guys are both on blind dates is it means that you guys are open to date. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You're looking for someone to date. Yeah. So at least yeah. their excuse is not going to be like, "I'm not ready for a relationship yeah. yet." Because why are you on this date then? It's this right. artificially <laughs> made situation. Yeah. Exactly. So I think in those kind of terms, it's pretty convenient as well. Mm, and yeah. uh, nowadays, as I'm getting older, I'm leaning more towards in Manchu yeah. mm-hmm. than Cha Manchu, just because I don't get those oh, circumstances. Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah, that's it for me. <laughs> I mean, I would love Amanchu, but I can't do that. Amanchu? Yeah. Amuna, Amuna, Amuna. Amuna. Yeah. I would try to do I would like to try to do that, but I, maybe I'm not attractive enough <laughs> to pull that off. No, yeah. it's it's dangerous for you because you're a public figure. I don't want you to be canceled. <laughs> that too, that yeah. too. Yeah, yeah. I don't put myself and out like, I Okay, I feel like a respectable whole age ends in like mid twenties. You cannot be Amanchu at this age, I feel. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? Because like, you should have had that younger <laughs> <laughs> okay 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 yeah 
Um, I mean, me meeting my boyfriend at that party that Kelsey took me to, that was like the epitome yeah, of Tamanchu. Yeah, matchmaker points. Mm-hmm. Yeah, literally, mm. I just like had turned up to the party with no expectations. I was like, I'm just going to get like drunk. She didn't even want to come. And I'm like, come yeah. on, let's hang out together. And yeah. then she came and then like I had n- no nothing. And then she <laughs> now has a boyfriend. So good yeah. for her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But besides of like your job or whatever, like circumstances, uh, situations, uh, a lot of people are saying on the internet that in the modern day, like era wise, um, Tamanchu is getting even harder and harder to yeah. achieve. Mm. Do you agree to that? And especially during COVID. Compared to Korea, when? Oh, before COVID. Before yeah. COVID compared to? No, just like just the modern era. You I know? think it depends on the atmosphere that you put yourself in. If you're constantly going out and there's like a bunch of people like near you, then it's okay. But if you're more used to like quieter settings, just like restaurants and yeah. stuff, then it's going to be harder. But if you're like out with like, you know, mm-hmm. in settings where there's a bunch of people. Yeah, that's... if you're like Subini and very extrovert, you'll <laughs> yeah. always have like new opportunities. Yeah. Yeah. But if you're more like David and you mostly keep to yourself, <laughs> yeah. it's yeah. going like yeah. to get very hard. Be meeting well, David else. has girls sliding into his DMs because oh, he's yeah, an influencer no, no, and he has no. a blue tick. No, no, yeah, no. It's okay. <laughs> David is not the best example. But if you're just like a normal dude who goes to like work, at just like office yeah. job, it's <gasps> hard. Yeah, those are the kind of guys that rent the girlfriends. <laughs> when I I made a video about that, I was like I a rent a girlfriend. Yeah, I got hired. It was undercover. Like those guys, they have no time time because you're in their mid-30s they're like in manager positions and they go to work come back home they can't just walk up to a girl in the bar yeah they just rent a girlfriend that service itself is living proof of how people are getting more like artificial about these relationships and there are so many marriage services yeah Yeah, Yeah, matchmaking services yeah Yeah. oh those marriages marriage services they're they are toxic in my opinion Mm. like it depends it's so calculative it Uh, is even like family to family to like son yeah, 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 yeah. Matchmaking. Traditional yeah. matchmaking, yeah. but Traditional those, those marriage apps, let's uh, marriage services. Mm. The the way they grade people, it's like yeah. cows. Are you cheating? You gave them an A, B, yeah. C, yeah. B, D, or your blah blah blah. That is but the so thing dehumanizing. Is the matchmaking yeah. thing, it's not a new thing though. That has existed in our parents' generation as well, because mm-hmm. like this Korean idea of like you have to marry within your caste. Almost, we don't yeah. have the Indian caste system, but like our matchmaking is comparable to the Indian matchmaking where. They really like counter in all of the, your metrics yeah. from your height, your health, your experience with other partners, your family's heritage, blah, blah, blah. And then they're like, okay, since you're a girl and you're young, but you're uneducated, you can marry up 10 years and he's going to be rich because you're young, mm. but he's not going to be that cute. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Would you take this deal? <laughs> yeah. It's literally like that. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think because of those services and like the atmosphere on how in Manchu is getting more popular nowadays. Mm. People mm. tend to judge more about each other's conditions. Mm. And like everybody's just resorting to or like hoarding towards like in Manchu. So do you think in our parents' generation they were more pure and less like I think so. I definitely really? think so. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, even in the parents' generation, they like Punga ah, Gaudinya. Whereas your family heritage, okay. they do care about that stuff. Yeah, you have a point. Yeah. But I don't think they were like super calculative like right now. Like this is meticulous. You right. know, you even know the person's salary, where they live, like what assets they have. What assets they have. Yeah, mm. like their everything mm. is on the paper. To the T. Yeah. yeah. Because yeah, in yeah. Korea marriage is very like a the financial and the family unification. That's like the huge part of the mm-hmm. marriage. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I mean, it's, it's not just medieval. about the two people loving each other. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like my parents met in like a udong shop and stuff. And there was like romance. Oh, that's so cute. Yeah, there was romance. And, and then afterwards they you know do the checklist and stuff you have some noodle here <laughs> she has a noodle on her face <laughs> but there was romance back then but nowadays a lot of people are just like because it's getting more convenient with apps mm. and these services mm-hmm. and like blind dates and mm-hmm. in manchu is becoming more of a thing after covid and stuff right covid Pe- yeah yeah covid definitely had a hit so people are like more more calculative and that kind of stuff i, I think that's okay but sad too a little bit yeah. yeah but don't give up because you can still have <laughs> who these- said i'm giving up <laughs> why are you thinking i'm giving up <laughs> it can still happen the k-drama stuff can still happen. ah okay don't give up on the fantasy the fantasy yeah i have a question though you know how in korea a lot of um like there'll be like three guys and then like you know they'll be like oh yeah bring three of your girlfriends too and like yeah. we'll have like meetings and stuff i wonder if like a lot of other cultures do this they yeah, do double dates i think they do it more yeah, yeah. it's yeah. less really? awkward to be yeah. double like, dating yeah. okay 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 so yeah, like double dates worldwide. but like it's like the first meeting you know what i mean like it's like a blind date it's like 
multiple yeah i've had north american girlfriends are like i'm going on a date with this guy for the first time but i'm really nervous so can you come with me and then he can bring also his friends okay, okay. And then they don't say it's like it's a blind date but just yeah, yeah, like, yeah, a hang yeah. out. it's like a hangout yeah. type of thing yeah yeah okay. yeah i think it's rather rare in korea that you introduce like a multiple of your opposite sex friends i'm actually i have a lot of those types of situations mm-hmm. although, oh in college like, that's you know, more common yeah. that culture mm. even now too like I, I have like a lot of those type of situations i would prefer more like natural situations mm. but I do, yeah because yeah, like i don't know if uh, it's because my cur- my friends are korean korean but whenever i say like because i'm a little bit westernized too mm. like i say like oh do you want to meet my friend together like mm. we can hang out together and they're like oh maybe not because like it's Why? a little bit oh, awkward close. i don't know them and but but it's more awkward to meet a random girl one on one. 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 Yeah. No, they're they're okay with that because they they've established it's a sogeting. But like, if you meet like together, and- well, then oh, you can really? check out the vibe with each person, and you have more options. Mm. But oh, they don't think of it that way though. I don't they, know. They think of just, it as like yeah. Yeah, my friends just don't like that. They're just like, yeah. Yeah. are they shy? Yeah, I mean, and yeah. and they're shy to show their like affectionate. Um, oh. personality in front of my me mm. so they're like oh. you know how guys yeah, 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 turn I know, I know like, yeah. they convert into a different mode when they don't show much yeah like with dudes it's like bro what are you doing mm. like fuck you all uh. that kind of stuff and when they and with girl, a girl like, they're they like do <laughs> like the you know forks oh. and you know, oh, water cute. pouring and all that opens the door yeah so they can't they miss their chance to impress right because they don't want to be cringe in front of their bros I see I see and the guy too like because like that's yeah, but gonna it's the be... same with girls too i see girls and they're like farting in front of me and whatever and then they're with like these guy- <laughs> other guys and they're like oh my god i forgot yeah, yeah, my yeah. lip balm today yeah, and i'm like yeah, yeah. fuck you obviously you can't fart in first meeting <laughs> like, that's i know but that is such a dramatic change no but like for instance if i was with my boy friend my guy friend and yeah. i introduced him to my girlfriend to make them like match and he does like a manly gesture like you know like gentlemanly gentlemanly yeah but thing. then you have to be the good friend and not make fun no i would make fun right <laughs> after <laughs> the thing like, like mimicking him like here you Roasting. are yeah. 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 here's your you know, napkin like, yeah, here's the door for you like, all that. so like that's yeah. the reason they won't go out with yeah, but so that, you have to just not do that just no be like, how, how do you miss a chance cringe. Yeah. Exactly. yeah how can you i'm throwing up in my mouth like, i am gonna cheat you so there's been many situations too where like my friends call out like all of their friends and then you know there just be a bunch of people but you know like that there was this one day where anna called all of her friends out mm-hmm. her boyfriend called all of her, her his boyfriends out yeah. and then like the girls and guys were talking i personally was so awkward like i'm just like you yeah i, I mean it's like because i didn't want to talk to any of them to be honest but i felt like i had to talk to somebody so i was like but you don't need to talk to them like it's like a potential date just talk to yeah, them just as be people. like friends I, yeah. I think i think that's a korean thing too because yeah. i've noticed myself and my korean friends like korean people have their own like firm circles no and... what happened was everybody started talking to like a guy girl guy girl guy uh... girl guy girl so i was like Oh. just sitting down and then somebody came up to me and i was like oh no like this is not like yeah, but okay. not all i'm of sorry them. Well, i won't them... call you next time <laughs> no 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 like I, i'm sorry I, I wasn't expecting everybody to sit like guy girl guy girl i thought it was just gonna be like <laughs> we're all hanging out together you know mm, like guys that's and why girls she's together. not going to your birthday party no the bible's really chill of course there were guys who were trying to like hit on other girls but there were some guys who already he had girlfriends was with there with the girlfriend we're just yeah, like yeah, very yeah. natural one guy asked me out but i didn't go oh. <laughs> would you consider that though? yeah yeah because it's meeting really? through a, yeah it's meeting through like a mutual friend if i meet someone at anna's birthday party this friday i would consider that chamanchu because mm-hmm. i don't know anything about him beforehand and i'm like i'm gonna go out because he fits my standards mm. i just meet him and then maybe maybe he asked me out and then it's like natural mm-hmm. yeah mm-hmm. i would say um just to ask you a question why do you think koreans even bother to categorize this kind of style into because like- there's so much stigma i think from dating apps uh, and then I think that's where Imanchu came from because oh, oh my god you're willing to meet someone from an app that was so like shocking to like when I was in my uh, early 20s Tinder first came out blah 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 a lot and of people I was, are like, like that still yeah mm-hmm. I know but like my North American friends were like oh I'm using this like you can go on legit dates so I started using it and then my Korean friends were like oh, you're willing to meet a guy from an app but you're so Imanchu and then like oh. they were so surprised that I was that open-minded or something. Mm, that's a very interesting perspective. So yeah. what you're saying is like some people would like to label themselves as chamanchu be- 
to distinguish themselves from Imanchu and say like they're on a moral high horse. Yes, yeah, yes, absolutely. I think there is a judgment there. Yeah. And also I think there's levels of, of Imanchu too. You know, there could be like sogeting and then like, you know, friends and friends right. and then like apps, dating apps. Like there's services, like levels matchmaking. of matchmaking. Mm -hmm. I think there's a definite like moral judgment or like wow. I, I'm better than you because I met my boyfriend through Tamanchu. Oh. Yeah. Kind of, yeah. Because like in the West, a lot of people are like, oh yeah, we got married and then we met through Tinder. They don't care about saying that. Yeah. But in Korea, yeah. if they get married, if they're getting married, they met through a Tinder. They don't even say that because yeah. that's a shameful origin story. That's true. That's it's true. Like, it shouldn't really fuck? be that way. Because exactly. falling, two people falling in love at the, exactly the same time is actually a really hard thing it's to so happen. Hard. It's like kind of a miracle. Mm -hmm. yeah. So no matter how the the medium of how you met, I don't think it should matter so mm -hmm. much. Oh, yeah. I've never thought of that nuance, for, mm -hmm. to be honest. And mm -hmm. I've did some research on it. I know, actually, I've done some brainstorming on why people would do these kind of like words categorizing and, yeah. categorizing and stuff and all I could think of like is like people like to label people and stuff like, like taxidermy MBTIs like. <laughs> and stuff yeah. so like and blood types so maybe that's a Korean trait mm -hmm. but well, that also... I think that that's a, definitely does exist yeah like yeah. I hate the MBTIs by the way it should be like a middle word for like Chamanchu and Imanchu yeah, like, yeah. yeah. I, I, it's why, very, it's very it's black like, and white yeah, yeah why categorize in the first place yeah, yeah. that's true too exactly. it's just like you got you got together you became in a relationship that's it yeah yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like, why do you want to differentiate? Because as I said, there's so much judgment towards in Manchu. Mm, yeah. That's a very fresh perspective. Mm. And another perspective I was looking for is just because simply Korean people like to abbreviate stuff. Mm -mm. Yeah, we have so many slangs about yeah, they, everything. They just like shorten every single thing. <laughs> well, they said not nacho pa mi or... Like, oh, yeah, yeah. Right. Nacho, yeah. nacho pa mi. Nacho pa mi. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What is it, Sumini? <laughs> <laughs> you <laughs> just yeah, but, like, in the West, there's so many categorizations for your like sexuality and then the, the amount of like grade oh, right. you are in. Like, it's like also like crazy. Oh, right, Because right, like right. one of my friends were like, okay, there's like, I know there's bisexual. There's like heterosexual blah 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 and then she was like I'm demisexual and I'm like what is that and then there's so many different oh, yeah, that, like yeah. words for everything and Koreans don't have that paradigm but we have this categorizing things like in other aspects I think people just like to have a label to define themselves yeah oh yeah but then for like you know sexual compatibility sometimes when you're like you know talking with somebody so maybe not is day and then pam is night and then cho is to lose and then e is to win so it's like oh yeah i like you know win during the day but i lose during the night so it's technically like oh I, i'm more of like taking in control during yeah. the day or like losing during the night submissive and like all of that stuff. right yeah. right so i guess it's like for those uh tricky situations you don't want to publicize like, like yeah the like, actual I'm this words type like, of person. i'm wild during the night yeah having <laughs> sex you know like yeah. when you want to avoid that you abbreviate yeah but when stuff. you say like when i like to win during the night isn't that the same thing I guess. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, he's basically, are you the more dominant one? Yeah, dominant yeah. or yeah. submissive. Yeah. Yeah. Just to derail a little bit, what's the most hilarious or outrageous uh, abbreviation word you've heard in Korea? Mm. Because a lot of people say you're a boomer if you don't know these kind of stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Even me, I'm falling off the rails. I'm 25. I can't keep up. <laughs> I can't. Like the the famous ones, keep up, you know that one. Yeah. Right? You don't know? <laughs> oh, Anna has no clue. Anna's a boomer. You, well, do you know? Yeah, yeah. Oh, right, right, right. You don't yeah. know. Ah. Okay, she's a boomer. I won't let her know because she's going to look <laughs> yeah. it up now. Wait, as she just said. Yeah. yeah. She really just said. Uh, do you know what 복세 편살 is? What? 복세 편살? No. 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 What's that? It's uh, 복잡한 세상 편하게 살자. Uh, oh my god, like seriously, what is wrong with everyone? <laughs> it means uh, let's live the complicated world in an easy way. But just in a very abbreviated shorthand. Yeah, way. like YOLO, you only live one. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Yeah, stuff like that. Yeah, but like nowadays, the generation, generation Z is like going way over the top. That's like Asa Insa too. That's like the... Like oh, asa, inside, asa, outsider, 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 insider. Yeah, insider. and even like AA uh -uh for Ice Americano. Yeah, can yeah. I have an AA? Uh -uh? uh, <laughs> it's, it's hard to <laughs> follow the trends here. Yeah, but okay, one last topic. Since a lot of our audiences is, is, are foreigners, uh, a lot of foreigners have uh, maybe complained that uh, it's very hard for them to even attempt chamanchu in Korea for mm. them in their, in their yeah, situation. Yeah, that's true. Because that's there's two types of Koreans. Koreans who are willing to date non-Koreans and Koreans who are just not willing to date non-koreans yeah. and if it's an organic situation you don't know which type of korean that person is and most likely the majority of koreans want to meet other koreans so that's why it's better for you to take the imancha route so then at least you know he or she is willing to date a non-korean person mm. but then there comes the secondary 
point out <laughs> or complain mm -hmm. that uh, usually people they meet through apps mm -hmm. or like in Manchu, uh, the don't get respected. They don't get respected, or they're fuck boys, or yeah, you know, yeah, very bad experiences. It's, it's mm. more like out of curiosity of like yeah. what they would think. Yeah, not, so, not because they like that person as like a person. Of course, like, oh, they're just curious of what how Absolutely. it is to date like a different, you know. Yeah, yeah. So like, I feel really bad because whenever a foreigner says that complaint and asks for advice, my only advice is go the chamanchu route, which is like. Uh, meeting friends just casually through like but that you know, is hard yeah it is hard like or go into a circle or like whatever but that's hard for a foreigner here mm -hmm. with no base like mm -hmm. language barriers and stuff yeah. so i feel really bad like there's no better advice i can give you but i understand you because whenever i'm in north america i sort of refrain from using tinder because there's so many yellow fever guys there who are like oh my god asian girl so kawaii or whatever and it's just better to meet someone organically mm -hmm. but let's say i don't speak english how yeah. Am I going to just break through that barrier exactly. and meet someone? And you just suddenly go to LA, and where are you going to go to meet people? Exactly, you know? like, yeah. by yourself. I get so that. I get that as well. So, what would you advise them to do? What's your advice? Make <sighs> Korean American friends. <laughs> Make Korean American friends so that they yeah. can take you out with people who speak English as well, but they're also Korean. Because yes. I feel like for you, them dating as well, rather than dating like a super Korean Korean guy, dating somebody who could speak English to or whatever language, you know, they speak is going to be better in communications for when they're in a relationship too. You know what I mean? Because mm. yeah. for me, I love when a guy can speak English. I could date a Korean Korean guy, but I prefer to date somebody who's like, you know, could speak English as well. So Yeah, and you have to be in touch with your realistic expectations. Most Koreans are very like homogenous, one cultured, yeah. and yeah. they're not willing to or able to communicate with a multicultural person or someone outside of what they know. So you can't just look at, oh, this YouTuber or this media, they are an international couple and they're making it work. That is not a common case. And yeah. when I ask all of my guy friends, oh, there's this foreigner girl and she's going to be in Korea for four years because she got into university here. Would you like to meet up with her? They yeah. still say not really. Mm -mm. Mm. Yeah, it's just what can I do? And yeah. I think um, a lot of foreigners also have to be open to like being OK with getting to know Korean culture or like, you know, what we yeah, and just don't come do. to Korea to get a wife or a husband. Because there's like, like there's such <laughs> mannerisms, you know what I mean? Like my brother dated like a person who was, you know, not Korean and the first thing she did, she wore her shoes in and walked to my brother's room. And my mom was like, what the heck? She didn't even insa and she wore shoes in the house. <laughs> you know, it's, just, it's just like stuff like that. Like if my brother let her know it's like, cute. hey, in, you know, in Korean, right? like, in Korean culture, you know, you take off your shoes, you, you know, you bow and say like, Annyeonghaseyo. like, and then you can, you know, go. It's like a thing. So I feel like you have to be okay. And she didn't get it at all. She was like, mm. oh, like. Why do I have to do that? So yeah. if you're, oh well, that's also disrespectful. Yeah, that's just, so if you are like against that, then it's going to be hard. If you're open to you know learning, then then you can date Korean people yes. as well. Too. But even if you're open to learning, you're not entitled to a Korean wife or a husband. Mm -hmm. So don't come with yes. that sole expectation. It's going to be very hard. Is that's the truth? Yeah, yeah. 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 is even harder. Yeah, yeah. you're yeah. not going to be able to. Uh, magically find someone in the streets that just in slide into you. David's DM. <laughs> what? Why are you labeling labeling me as Amanchu? Like, yeah, no, anybody. you can choose out of all the candidates. No. You're already okay. No. <laughs> okay. Okay. It's okay. Uh, before we end, just a fun question. Um, Subin mentioned nowadays that the meaning of Chamanchu is changing into sleep first, date. Uh, sleep Label. first and date. Yeah. Um, do you think the modern society is actually heading that way? And yes. it's an accurate uh, depiction of that. Yeah. The terminology. I mean, it's definitely more than before. I, more than I would before. say. But yeah. still, there are the people majority. who would refuse to get into a relationship mm -hmm. um, without having clarified that they are. Mm -hmm. As in, like, well, I sorry, feel like more refuse... people are just shy to admit it. Yeah. Because I see a lot of people being that way. They have sex before getting into a relationship, yeah. but then they deny it or it's just like, yeah. They mm. just think it taints the whole image of like this romantic first love thingy. Yeah. But then you have some people who are like after a first date, they're like, oh, we need to, we're together now. And then immediately <laughs> go they to have bed. Sex. Yeah. <laughs> like, so then the, like, what's the difference? What's the difference? But then they feel better <laughs> because they're like, we're in a relationship. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not a hoe. <laughs> it's just the girls want the title. Mm. Yeah. Or you know how some, it kind of sprouted from like younger people. So maybe the generation of like the younger generation, their mindset is changing. They want to sleep more. But I feel like 
people our age too, it could still be the same of how we thought. It yeah. Was, you know? Yeah. Yeah. I feel like the younger generation might be changing, but do you know like my dad actually like last week, even it's not really to Taman Chu Iman but he was like after having lived life until my age right now, he was like, I actually think it's really Tonga, like living people living together before marriage. He was like, I think that's a really good idea. Yeah, yeah. I think it's a good idea too. Yeah, I think mm. that's like but he's like, but obviously before I got married, I had such conservative thoughts. He's like, Of course you should never never to do this. Uh-huh. But he's like after having been married to him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, like, you, have, you have to have lived together and see what it's like before you decide yeah. to spend the rest of your life with yes. this person i think it's so totally true so many couples in too. korea are in an unhappy marriage sexless but they just won't get a divorce because mm. of like this i don't know confucianism mindset or something mm. social pressure kids and all yeah. that kind of stuff yeah yeah, yeah. And this is totally unrelated too but um speaking of chamanchu like the sleep sleeping version of it <laughs> um these are made by kids right um kids like yeah, minors kids, like gen z gen z okay gen z, like barely <laughs> adults adults there's been recent news that um they're abolishing those room cafes have oh you, okay have you heard them yeah What's because it's like cafe? you don't know what a room cafe is it's no, that's like basically cafe? motels before minors yeah you know because so they room... can't get into motels to do the boom boom they have a nice furnished room with a TV. Where you, like you can so play. a room cafe is technically a oh. room you can borrow and play Nintendo Wii oh. with yeah. your friends. Oh. TV. It's like meant to be contrary cute. to a motel where you have to have your ID to get in. Yeah, you can just go in as a minor, as a boyfriend and a girlfriend. Yeah. and because most parents in korea won't allow their minor kids even if they're 19 or 18 like to bring their partner to their house mm. they have no choice but to go to these unregulated nintendo rooms and just like have sex there yeah. and sometimes there would be like fully furbished shower rooms yeah. so that like minors bed, would, all yeah, so that the minors would actually just go there and yeah have sex yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. It's been a social issue. Now they're trying to abolish it, but uh, I think they've compromised with making windows for the rooms. Mm. Uh, and, but yeah. like people but like, need to realize when like they're gonna have sex anyway. Yeah, horny teenagers will find a way regardless of all these. Like yeah. there's yeah. a when there's like, a will, there's a way. Do you like, guys remember the times where it was illegal for you to buy a condom in a convenience store if you were underage? They required you to oh. show your license, and I was like, I don't think that's a good idea. I would rather have minors have sex with a yeah, condom yeah, yeah, than so not be weird. able to get yeah. a condom. And then, so like, have weird. unprotected sex. Are yeah. you kidding me? Like, what's yeah. up with this mindset? That is so weird. I went to one of the, uh, rem- uh, what do you call it? Auto autonomous uh, convenience stores, okay. and they have these like kiosks. Yeah. 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 And I was trying to buy. Um, I was try- <laughs> <laughs> oh. trying to buy. Oh, um, <laughs> no, I, my, my friend said they were trying to buy a condom. And, <laughs> Come on, David. And they had. Come they had, on. They own it. Re- own it. <laughs> they require the store clerk to ID you to buy yeah, a it's condom. Like buying- alcohol and i did i couldn't get it why you said it was your friend no my i couldn't get the idea why my friend would, <laughs> <laughs> I, whatever <laughs> um <laughs> yeah but anyways like why yeah like, that's dumb yeah teenagers need it too they they need it the they most need it more yeah. yeah we should talk more about like koreans like so negative about like minors having sex they just deny to acknowledge that it's happening yeah it's it's blasphemy for the parent Boomers, generation yeah. like but if, it, it has been going on for centuries like with teenagers even quite back in the day when there's a world there's a way like i'm saying honestly though like my high school only like the agents had sex mm. <laughs> yeah but still it's a thing it's yeah. like at least 10 percent. you know romy and juliet 20. they were both like 13 yeah. that yeah. story yeah. that's like ages <laughs> yeah. ago. so anyways I, th- I think uh what we're talking about all around here is like a representation of why terminology is like chamanchu is changing from the natural to sleep first mm-hmm. and stuff like that. It's like all, you know, in that terminology yeah. itself. Yeah, so. It mirrors how Koreans perspectives are right. changing. Right, mm-hmm. right, right. So the Gen Z is getting good, Wild good stuff. <laughs> I'm like seriously, whether you decide to have sex before you get into a relationship or after, there's no right or wrong answer. It's literally your choice. Yeah, yeah. yeah just don't way. feel guilty about no, it. And then just, nothing... just don't also don't lie about it and like pretend like your values are not like because some people are such hoes and that they're like i'm a virgin like guys and girls both in korea and they're just like just own it and if your values don't align you're, you're just not meant yeah. to be mm-hmm. just don't try to be ashamed or hide it's just mm-hmm. right right so anyways moral of the story is whether you're chamanchu or immanchu or, or amanchu, amanchu just don't judge go with whatever you want as long as it suits you you can find your love yeah when, just be what, safe protected <laughs> yeah std tested yeah <laughs> yeah so uh, don't judge other people because they say they're immanchu or whatever yeah. so yeah i mean if you like chamanchu go for it but if it doesn't work 
just go for anything else. Mm -hmm. And I, I think it's ridiculous that we label it in the first place, but since it's a running term in Korea. Anyways, yeah, it, it was a fun episode. Wow, we talked a lot today as well. Thanks for coming again <laughs> and talking about this uh, ridiculous topic. <laughs> and uh, this was the Korean Pizza Club. I hope it gave you some insight on the Korean dating scene. Uh, and hope you find good luck. luck. Yeah, good luck. Good luck. Korea. Yeah. So yeah, I'll try my best too. In the meantime. Okay. Me too. <laughs> bye bye. Bye. bye.